Welcome to South Florida Saltwater Fishing. I'm Heath, and it's time to get into the bite. Dolphin in the boat. Oh my God. Woo! Mutton snapper Let's right there, this. baby. Alright, on the boat with me today, I got my older brother Justin. Alright, the idea is we're gonna run out to the fishing grounds, take him offshore, and see if we can get him into the bite. It's a nice overcast, cloudy day. We got a solid five ten knot wind from the southeast we're rigging up and heading towards the inlet hopefully with any luck we'll be bringing home some food to the family before we get into this though if you want to learn more about fishing grow as an angler or just see some great and exciting offshore fishing adventures you can start by hitting the subscribe button don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that you won't miss a thing all right folks it is looking like a very nice beautiful but windy morning you know what that means we'll see you out on the water. All right, folks, so we've headed out of Boca Inlet today. We're just to the north. We're in South Del Rey. What we've come across is an area of large scattered weeds. It's very hard to troll in these conditions and not be pulling our lines every, you know, couple of minutes. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pitch out some spro jigs, some three quarter ounce spro jigs, and we're gonna flatline out some natural bait. See if we can find some mahi-mahi to get into the bite with. Nothing better than getting into a sight fishing bite with mahi-mahi. Hopefully, we'll have a good day and we're gonna be able to bring home some dinner to the family. So the gear that we're gonna be fishing with is gear like this. This is a Penn Battle 5000. It's filled with 20 pound braid. And then I've got a 50 foot top shot of 20 pound uh, fluorocarbon leader on it. And at the end of it, we have our three quarter ounce white bucktail jig from Spro. This is on a seven foot pen battalion rod, rated for the 12 to 20 pound class. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cruise over to one of these selected weed patches, which there are many of, see if we can find some mahi hanging around them and get into the bike. Oh, I just had one follow me. Oh, there he is, they're following me, they're out there. Here we go, we're gonna go again. Remember, as fast as you can. Oh! They're over here, they're over here. Look. Oh, you're on. You're on, there you go. <laughs> Whoa, dolphin! Hold up, let me tighten your drag. All right, you're good to go. All right. Don't, if you hear that reel, you're whining when you're not gaining line. Don't do that. You're gonna get what's called line twist. Hold up. I told you we'd find some dolphin, right? You a believer in these spro jigs? All right, here, I want you, when you do it, get them back over here. Hold up, hold up, oh. The Almacos are bringing your reel over here. Oh. Good dolphin, good dolphin. All right. We just threw out a spro jig and we got a dolphin. Here we go. We're gonna see if we can get him up and over the rail. <laughs> dolphin in the boat. First one of the day. <laughs> nice to see how them spro jigs work, right? Yep. All right, we're back at it. Gonna see if we can find some more mahi. And he's hooked up into the weeds immediately. That's what happens when you're out in little scattered weeds like this. It's gonna happen all the time, but you gotta persevere. If you don't keep at it, you're never gonna find the fish and get into that bite. You cannot give up. Sometimes the elements can be frustrating and it's entirely understandable, but the one thing you can't do give is give up. The fish don't give up, neither should you. Good thing is, is I'm seeing Almaco Jacks chase down Spro jigs as I'm winding in. That's not our target species, but we're gonna keep at it, see if we can find the dolphin. So you're gonna hear me periodically switch up the terms mahi and dolphin. They are the same thing. It is dolphin fish. That is what they're typically called. 
Mahi is the Hawaiian term where they originated from. The word Mahi means strong. And quite often you'll hear them called Mahi Mahi, which means strong, strong. And that's literally how strong these fish are. They're always swimming, they're always migrating, they're always eating. That's what Mahi do. They eat, they swim, they migrate, they make little Mahi. Well, we're on the dolphin. Found him. Got a nice little school. There he goes. Are you hooked up? Yep. We're hooked up. There we go. Let's see if I can get one. Whoa, this one's big. Good. Hold on. Give me your leader. Get him over here real quick. Dolphin in the boat. Woohoo! Dolphin number two on the slow jig. Yep. All right. Get back out there. Keep doing it. I'll get him in the cooler. We're going to pitch out a... Uh, dead bait and let it flat line out and we're going to continue on with the spro jigs hopefully we get into the bite we will see what happens we got justin up at the front of the boat i'm going to be at the stern them options open all the time. Nice. Yep, that's a good one. They're all about the same size. He's a good one. We'll get him up to the boat and flip him in. Alright, I don't see anyone following him, so watch out and you get him. Keep on fishing though. Sight fishing for mahi mahi. All right, so the ideal when you're sight fishing with white bucktail jig, pitch it out. You're blindly pitching it out to an area where you think there are fish. The object is to reel it in and retrieve it as fast as you can until you get that hook on it. Remember, it's essentially trolling without trolling. If you're not going fast, you're giving the fish the chance to examine your bait while they swim up. You don't want them to do that. You want it to be an impulse strike. One of the great things about horizontally fishing a white buckle jig is that it will entice the impulse to feed from predator fish. And again, fast as you can reel it in. Don't be afraid. Again, like I said, if you don't get that hook up initially, you got to keep going. You're going to get hooked in the weeds like this. You keep going. Don't worry about it. If the fish are there, they will come in. Some blind sort of pitching, got into the mahi hookup, 
and it doesn't get any better than that. It proves the versatility and the power of these lures. Also, how resilient they are. It's not like we're catching one fish and you know, having to switch up a lure or a bait or anything. They can catch multiple fish all day, every day. And you keep using them. So let's see if our, uh, our initial pot of fish have moved. So what we're trying to do is track them back down. We've got four fish in the deck right now, in the bucket. And we're just trying to relocate, see if we can get back into the bite. Oh, what'd you get? I got oh, you got an Almaco Jack! Woo! Oh Lord, that oh, means man, they're... Out. Yeah! They're related oh. to Amberjack, there you go! Almaco Jack are not wimpy, are they? You're learning a lesson right now, ain't you? Yeah. <laughs> I can catch those guys with bare hooks sometimes. Alright, get them on up here. Almaco Jack. You can actually eat these, and on bad days I can keep them, but... We're gonna, you know, some good fish karma. Let's see if we can catch an Almaco Jack on a bare hook. Oh! <laughs> I almost had him! <laughs> oh, and they're going for more. Come on, guys. I want to show everybody that fish will eat a bare hook with no bait on it. Your heart out, white bucktail jig. I got a bear hook. All right, folks, I want to explain exactly what happened today. We headed out early, and we ran off short at a fishing grounds. Went to the deep ledge of the continental shelf in about 650 to 660 feet. Conditions were pretty much unfavorable for trolling because of the scattered weed lines. We were going to be pulling off, you know, weeds every couple of minutes, if less than that. So what we did is we said, hey, we're going to pitch out some white bucktail jigs, see if we can get into the hookup with some mahi-mahi. Maybe they're swimming around. We don't see them, but there's always that chance. Pitched one out and immediately got into the hookup. It does not get any better than that, to be almost blind sight fishing and get into the hookup with your targeted species. So I've always said it only takes one fish to make that fishing trip epic. And in this case, we ended up with four or five in the bucket. We got countless hookups so many that i lost count they were hitting the jigs spitting them out left and right we managed to get some into the boat and into the bucket we were even flatlining out a natural bait we got a nice one onto the deck with that epic mahi mahi sight fishing day from a dead boat all right folks that about does it for this episode i hope you had fun hope you enjoyed i hope you learned a little bit about sight fishing blindly with white bucktail jigs the power, the versatility, and the resilience of this little jig and how much it can do for you, especially when getting into the mahi-mahi bite. Till next time, South Florida saltwater fishing, going wherever the cool wind takes us.